So there's a total of 20 different mini foodie roux that you can get and basically you can look at the colour of the packaging which will help you determine what category it's from um, and also the numbers will determine it specifically which character you're getting. Um, so yeah, so I had a good look at the checklist and as you can see here I've put all the numbers on of the different ones that I got. Um, I did that for the other side as well but we're going to go through each of them today. So the trial mix foodie roos are actually the first ones on here and you can see here I've labelled them so that's number 12 and 11 um, and the background of these is actually like a yellow uh, kind of triangles pattern and then if you look at the actual packaging of the boxes of these it has the same triangle pattern here so if you want one from the trail mix it's going to be this sort of pink stripe and uh, this kind of purple triangle design here so then you want to look at the code that's right at the bottom here and you just want to look at the last two numbers so you can see numbers there is one and one so that's number 11 so let's have a little look at this first one so this first one's this little kitty called miss and mix and it's got like a cereal shreddies design really really cute this one and this is what the cardboard packaging uh, sort of house design looks like for this one so yeah so that was number 11. The next one is number 12 and this is going to be the super cute little hamster one so again because it's from the same category it is going to have the same um, packaging design so we can see on the bottom that is number 12 so let's open this one up and get our little hamster out so here is our little hamster really really cute so this has got like a trail mix like nuts and stuff and like different seeds and this one chirps when we shake it and I believe the container, yeah, this is the same as the cat one. So yeah, same exterior design and then the little interior kind of house theme is the same for the same theme as well. So the next category are the jelly snacks and that's 21 and 22. Now again, looking at the checklist here, we can see that for these two, there's a blue stripe in the background and that actually matches perfectly with the box because you can see we've got the blue stripes here um, and then there's also like pink polka dots but you know if you're getting this box you're gonna have a one of the jelly snacks ones so the first one here is number 21 so the numbers just kind of go up in order of 10 so 10 20 30 so this is 21 so let's open this one up and here we have jelly jumper so this is a little mouse so it looks like this one's coated in like sugar coated little jellies a uh, cute little tail this one is really really sweet and we do have a different background design this time i really like this one this is really nice and colorful um so yeah we can see the two different ones you can get from this theme i love all these sweet patterns the bedding's really really cool this one's so bright and colorful i like this a lot So also from the jelly snacks we have number 22 here as we can see at the bottom same packaging design let's get this one out so this one is a really really cool little peacock the eyes are so pretty i love the eyelashes super super cute these are just really colorful i like this one um, and they do smell pretty good it, it's quite a strong sweet smell but it's pretty nice i think it's just quite overpowering for me because i've got like 19 in front of me um, but yeah, there's that one. And again, it is the same background because it's from the same category. Next up, we have the candies. So these are numbers 31 and 32. And if you look on the checklist for the candies, you can see that there's a hot pink sort of diagonal stripe pattern. And that's great because that pattern matches with this one. So we can see the hot pink stripes um, and there's also blue polka dots on the top. So you know that you'll be getting one of the candies ones. So, oh, let's check the number. So this one is 31. So in 31 is a sealy stripe. So this really cute little seal. And these kind of look like hard gummies. This one rattles. And then we have a number 32. And this one's probably one of my favorite ones. So number 32 is Sweetie Sloth. I love this one. It's covered in like little love heart, you know, those little fizzy sweets. It's got little claws. Really, really cute, this one. So the packaging for the candies themed ones looks like this. Really quite pink. I love the floor. It's got like the love heart pattern on the floor. That's really, really cool. And that plant's pretty nice. 
The next category is chocolate and that's number 41 and 42. So on the checklist it's these two here and this one's kind of like green cubes. It looks like all cubes stacked on top of each other in the background. And then you'll notice with this packaging you've got cubes. It is a different colour but it still follows that same design. So if you look for the purple stripes and this kind of teal cube pattern and the numbers 41 or 42, you'll know that you're going to get one of the chocolate ones. So this is 41. So this one's another one of my faves. This might actually just be my favourite one. I think this is so cute. So this is Coca Chimp. So a little chocolate monkey. I love the chocolate squares. like a lighter chocolate for the tail. I realise I keep forgetting to show what they do, whether they chirp, squeak or whatever. Um, this one actually doesn't do anything. I think it's meant to rattle, but it like got something inside it, but it doesn't do anything. But I don't really care about that. I just like the way these look. I think they're really, really cute. So then we have number 42, which is this one here. This one's another really, really cool one. So this is the little kind of dinosaur one, I think it is. And this one's called Rainbow Rex. It's like a little T-Rex, I think. It's got a really cute face. I like the little teeth. The fabric on these is pretty nice. The embroidery is really cool. And this one looks like it's covered in like Smarties or like sugar coated chocolates. I like the fabric bit here. And then the background for the chocolate themed ones is another really like rainbow one. I like this, it kind of looks like LGBT or something like that, it's pretty cool. Um, I like that photograph of them at the top there. This is very, very vibrant. So the next category is crackers, which is numbers 51 and 52. Now strangely on the checklist, it kind of went in order, but then we go to 60 um, and the numbers 51 and 52 are actually here. I'm not quite sure why it's like that. Um, but yeah, that's that. So we can see with this one, we have kind of teal squares and that matches exactly with this package in here. So this one with teal squares and the purple stripes will mean that you have one from crackers. And this one is 51. And this is Finny Chris. So I think this is like a, are they called anglerfish? When they have like the sort of light hanging down, it's got those little cute teeth again. It's not my favourite this one, but I can see why people would probably like it. I'm just not really a fan of sea creatures to be honest, but it's pretty cute. And that one squeaks. The other crackers one is number 52, and this is another one of my favourites. I've shown this one in a video before. This is Otto Cheese. You'll see this is my one. I've actually trimmed the tag off because they're really long and annoying. So it's a little otter that looks an awful lot like a little mouse. Uh, really, really cute. And this one chirps when you shake it. And the background for the crackers ones is like this. I don't really like this background is a bit garish to be honest it's very fish themed um but that's what it looks like so moving on to the other side now we have the wafers which are number 61 and 62 on the checklist you can see behind these there's kind of like this cross purple pattern so the box of the wafers has the exact same background here and also hot pink polka dots so this one is 61 And here we have Crispy Chihuahua. So this is really, really cute. I like its big ears with the big pink bits. This one squeaks. And then this one is a number 62. And this one is a little cow. So here is Wafer Wally. This one's pretty cute. Um, I really like cows, but to be honest, this one isn't as cute as I hoped it would be, but it's still pretty cute. Like its little tail. And this one also chirps. Here is the background for the wafer ones. That's pretty cool. I like how the wallpaper's like these kind of uh, wafer crispy things. I don't know what they're called. They probably have a proper name. On there it says, life is rough, but sweet. That's pretty cute. Looks quite modern, this one. 
Next category is the Sour Gummies, which is number 71 and 72. So that's these two on the checklist here. And their background is red sort of zigzags up and down. And then you can see that the packaging has zigzags as well, only in blue. So if you want one of the Sour Gummies, you want to go for green stripes and blue zigzags. So this is number 71. So here we have Tia Tart, she's really quite sweet. So she's a little hippo and she's got, I think like fizzy gummy worms, which I absolutely love these. And she's another one that chirps as well. That was really quite a cute noise. So then the other sour gummy is number 72. This one is Sour Alley and this is a really cute little llama. I'm not too sure what sweets these are, I suppose just like fizzy, Ring chewy sweets, maybe. And she squeaks. And for those two, this is their background. This is another really happy one. I like that they've got like a sort of gummy worms uh, poster there. Nice rainbow outside. This is really cute. The next ones are bubble gum, which is 81 and 82. So on the checklist here, you can see it's hot pink sort of background and there's kind of like waves going up and down. And this matches the box. So this one's got waves up and down and this sort of yellow polka dot design. So this is number 81. I think this might've been the first one I ever opened. And this one's called Poppin' Patty. So it rattles. It actually kind of sounds like a little container of gum. And you can see it's got little bits of chewing gum all over. I like the big flat tail, that's really cool. And then we have number 82 here. This one's really cute. So this is a bubble bear. So these are the big like circular chewing gums like you'd see in actual bubble gum machines. And this one also rattles. And the background of the bubblegum ones looks like this. Really quite pink. I do like that they always have photos of the two characters. That's adorable. So we're down to the last three now. I hope you're still with me. Uh, hopefully this video isn't going to be like 10 hours long. I will edit it down. Um, so the next ones are cookies, which is 91 and 92. I really, really like both of these ones, actually. So on the checklist, here they are. Um, so this one kind of has like uh, circles in the background, like kind of purple, pinkish circles. And the packaging also has purple circles. So you can look for those and blue stripes if you want this one. So this is number 91. And this is Skippy Swell and she is just adorable. Um, so yeah, so she's got some sort of biscuits. I think they're those sort of shortbread biscuits. I used to love those. Um, I think she's a squirrel. Let me know down below what you think she is. But she kind of looks like a squirrel to me. She squeaks. She smells really nice, by the way. She kind of smells like custard cream biscuits. So then we have a number 92. So this is a woody chip. So as the name indicates, I think this one's a little chipmunk. Looks like a very chocolatey biscuit. I love this pattern on the tail, nice flat tail again. Really cute, love that she's holding a heart. And she chips. I think these two also have my favorite background design. Oh my gosh, I would so have a house like this if I could. I don't think my partner would appreciate these decorations, but that is so pretty. I love that sofa. This is really, really cute. That ceiling design, oh my gosh, yes. And then the last category is the rare treats and those are numbers one and two and you will notice I actually am missing one of those. So those ones are these two. So you've got Lola Pop, which is sadly the one I'm missing um, and she's number two and I think she's another squirrel. And we've got Narmalo, who's number one, who we'll look at in a second. Now this background you'll notice is all like kind of rainbow different colors. Now the actual background for this is the same as the Sour Gummies one, but the number 01 would indicate that we do have one of the rare ones. So my thinking is 
possibly they'd put it in just this packaging or maybe just a random one so if you want to find one of the rare treats i would suggest you really just need to look at the numbers and look for number one or number two to find these so let's open this one up so here is Narmello, the little narwhal. This one's pretty cute. It looks like maybe gum again or little marshmallows. Oh, it would obviously be marshmallows because it's called Narmello. Ignore me. Pretty cute. This one rattles. So I definitely want to find Lola Pop and I will probably do another video if I find her. So do subscribe. So I'm pretty certain she'll be number two, but I'm just not sure if it'll be the same packaging. So this is also interesting because when we open up this, the rare treats don't have their own interior box design. This is still the one for the sour gummies. So that's kind of interesting. So yeah, so maybe they only come in the sour gummies packaging or maybe it's just a random one. But like I said, you just want to have a look at those numbers and look for number one or two if you want one of the rare ones then. And so that is all of them. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful if you're able to find these or look for any of these. Um, yeah, I really like these. They're super adorable. Uh, there's so many different designs, which is really fun. And I really enjoyed working out the codes with these, like all the different packaging designs and all the different numbers. That was really, really fun to do. So here they all are again, really, really cute. It's a shame I couldn't get the last one, but a very, very nearly full collection. I did pretty well, I think. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favourite.